Hi there, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative therapies. Today, I'm gonna to answer the question of what exactly is stemness when it comes to stem cell therapy? Uh, stemness is a term that refers to what is the capability of the stem cell being discussed? Another term that is commonly used for that is called plasticity, all right? So I made a visual aid. Um, my handwriting has not changed very much since probably the fifth grade. <laughs> so I'll read it to you. All right, I put stemness at the top here. Now, it's really um, almost like a scale. On the one side, you have what's called a pluripotent stem cell. Now, when you think of a pluripotent stem cell, you think of embryonic stem cell, the ones that come from aborted fetuses, those stem cells are able to turn into any cell type in the whole body. So they have almost complete plasticity. Their, you know, stemness is, you know, almost infinite when it comes to the amount of cells in the body. Now, there is one um, actually off the scale here called totipotent, which is a term that you don't hear very much, but uh, basically what it means is that that stem cell can become not only any cell in the body, but also can become the placenta or the embryo. So it's, that one's actually, you know, infinite when it comes to the human body, okay? But in reality, what we typically talk about is pluripotent, all right? Now, those are not used clinically, uh, predominantly because they're not safe. Um, they can cause tumors. They often don't know when to stop um, replicating, so they can form tumors, and um, they get rejected um, almost instantly. So if you're going to have a, a pluripotent stem cell procedure, an embryonic stem cell procedure, you would need immunosuppression. Um, our centers don't do pluripotent stem cells at all. In the middle is what's called mul multipotent stem cells. Those stem cells are able to turn into multiple different types of specialty cells, but not all. So that's why they're not pluripotent, they're definitely not totipotent, and they're really in the middle, okay? Those um, can either come from your bone marrow, your adipose tissue, your fat, or from what we use, which is postnatal tissue, placenta, umbilical cord, amniotic fluid, all right? Now, it's interesting because, um, and then I'll mention quickly, unipotent means it's a stem cell that only has the capability of turning into one specialty cell. It's already predestined for that. So one last thing that I want to mention is the stem cells that we get from uh, birth tissue are considered multipotent if you had to categorize them. However, when it comes to birth tissue, there has been research showing that they are a little bit better than multipotent. They're kind of in this range, all right? So that's one of the reasons that birth tissue uh, regenerative therapies have been going like this, you know, for the last decade is because they work so much better than the stem cells from bone marrow or adipose tissue. So um, people have different, you know, pluripotent-like stem cells. Um, you know, they have higher plasticity and higher stemness in this area, but, you know, they can't turn into every type of cell in the body. They're also safe, continue to be safe when it comes to not being rejected, not forming tumors, you know, so on and so forth. All right. So that's what it means uh, with stemness and plasticity. So um, there you go. All right, visit us online today at r3stemcell.com. We have a lot of educational information on the website. Um, also call us for a free consultation at 844-GET-STEM. We'd be happy to hear from you. You can also email us, info at r3stemcell.com. Thank you.